Hey, what's going on guys? It is Mystical Prime. You just call me Taren, whatever makes you an old man. And this is some Black Ops 2 gameplay on the map plaza. I'm bringing you guys some Ballista gameplay, playing some 99 Ground War with a bunch of subscribers. So I hope you guys do enjoy the gameplay in the background. It's actually a really close game. We were actually losing in the beginning of this gameplay, but we end up beating this clan. We're playing a full clan, I'm pretty sure. I think it's an eight or nine man clan, or it might be a seven man, but regardless, we were playing a full clan, and we ended up beating them in the end. It was a really close game. I think one of my subscribers named Machuk dropped a triple C4 later in the gameplay, which saved us the game, which allowed us to win. And I think for the final kill, guys, I dropped a triple kill with my Ballista. It's a pretty snazzy, pretty sexy final kill, so stay tuned for that in the end of the video. But anyway, guys, for today, I'm going to be telling you guys a really fun story. I'm going to give you guys something really interesting to learn about. I'm going to be telling you guys about my volunteer experience at the Ontario Science Center. So if you guys don't know what that is, you guys can just go ahead and Google it, Ontario Science Center, and then you'll be able to find out what the heck that place is. But basically, it's like an exhibit, like an, a museum, basically, uh, with a bunch of cool science exhibits that kids and adults of all ages can visit and just enjoy science for what it is because science is honestly an amazing field it's 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 always changing and it's always interesting to learn things you didn't necessarily know about in the ontario science center so my job at the ontario science center was to be a camp counselor for the science center camp that was taking place over the spring break for a bunch of kids, about I think 180, but I specifically volunteered to watch five-year-olds. And the reason why I chose that age is because my brother is six, and I remember when he was five, I was really good at taking care of my brother when he was five because I used to have to babysit him all the time. So I thought it'd be pretty simple to babysit, not really babysit, but to have fun uh, with five-year-olds at the Ontario Science Center because my brother is not like any other kid out there. He's spoiled. He's he's annoying sometimes. He screams, yells, cries. He's, he throws tantrums. He's, he's not the typical five-year-old. Trust me. He... He's a little he's a little bit of a brat, let's put it that way. But I love him so much. He's an amazing guy, but you know, sometimes he gets he gets on my nerves. So I thought, you know, no one could be worse than my brother and I was right. No one is worse than my brother. So it was an amazing time at the uh, science center like I think on my first day when I went, I was kind of overwhelmed. There were so many little kids and they all looked like they all look like they're brats when I first saw them, I'm going to be honest. They all look like they were mean, and I didn't know what to do. I was kind of overwhelmed. Like, I was I was kind of shy at the same time. Like, I, I was kind of timid. I, it's not like, like, I could I could, I could could speak to the kids. I could I could tell them what to do and stuff, but I was kind of timid about it. I was so open, so going like I am in my videos. But with by the end of the day, I, they grew on me so fast. Like, I was clicking with the kids. I had such great rapport with the kids. You know, they all loved me. It was insane. Like, today was the last day, and when I left... They were all giving me hugs, and I just I felt bad leaving them. I honestly love them. I'm, I'm probably not going to see them ever again. Uh, but, you know, this experience has really taught me how well I can deal with kids. I didn't realize I, was, I could really be uh, a fun experience uh, for, with kids. I, I didn't realize that they loved me that much. A lot of them just kept hugging me and touching me. It was it was really... It was, uh, it was, they were all over the place. They just they loved me so much, and I love them. They're honestly amazing. Some, some things I could probably remember is, you know, to get their attention, we had some really cool things that we did. For example, if we wanted to get the whole camp's attention, we would say... Hey, campers! And then the little kids would say, Hey, what? <laughs> That's what they would say every time you scream that line out. And another thing we did to get their attention if they were misbehaving, we would say, Hey, campers! And they'd say, Hey, what? What sound does the waterfall make? Shh! And then they'd all be quiet. I love that one too. I think another one was, oh, th if they were misbehaving as well, another thing we would say is, hands on top, that means stop, eyes on who, eyes on you. <laughs> those are some of the things that we did to get their attention, it was honestly amazing, and I even said those things to them, and they they responded well, and it was honestly, these kids are amazing, the experiences were great. You know, some of my favorite, some, there's a kid named Atticus, and he's probably the biggest troublemaker in the camp. He, he loves, he just runs around, he's crazy, just like running around, getting lost all the time, and overall, I love Atticus. You know, there's a bunch of other kids I could probably talk about, but 
now this video is coming to an end now i think the moral of this video guys is just go out have fun volunteer try being a camp counselor it's honestly an amazing experience i loved it so much and i think you guys will too and I'm probably going to be volunteering over the summer. And I think I might continue talking about this for the next couple of days. Maybe just one more time tomorrow because I honestly did have an amazing experience. But anyway, guys, there is that triple spray for the final kill with the ballista. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go. Please leave a like down below and comment down below. Hashtag primetime if you're watching another video. But I'm going to go. I'm Mystical Prime. Or you can just call me Taren. And I'll see you guys in another video. This is a battle cry.